Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Right, before we get started, this video is sponsored by Tear Bear Printing. Use the word SPORT as it's spelled on screen, all in capitals, and you get 10% off the purchase price. And even more good news, they'll be selling my match very soon. And also on top of that, there's more good news that the UK football fans will start returning to football stadiums, hopefully very close, obviously depending on what tier system you're in. Hopefully a lot of the country will be in tier 1 or 2. That way we should be able to get some uh, way back to formality. But anyway guys you're here for one reason and one reason only. You asked for the Premier League predictions for week 10. So guys you know what to do. Give us a little big crap button up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Crystal Palace versus Newcastle. Crystal Palace losing to Burnley the previous week. Slightly disappointing on the Crystal Palace point of view. Of that result. I mean you could really. You know sort of like. Understand. Why Palace lost. But it's still very disappointing. Can't quite remember how Newcastle got on. But I'm expecting Crystal Palace. To carry on with this dip. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Newcastle win. My next one. Is Brighton and Valbion versus Liverpool. Brighton and Valbion picked up their first three points. I can't quite. Uh. It definitely ain't, uh, I think, it, is it the first three? No, it's not. Um, yeah, we picked up the first three points in quite a while. I know it's their first time they've done something, but I can't quite remember what. On the other hand of that, Danny Welbeck scoring his first goal for Brighton. Well done to Danny Welbeck for doing that. And I'd obviously watch that game, considering all football comes back on telly. And I thought Brighton, you know, were a bit of a better team. Probably deserve maybe two or three goals in that game. Liverpool, on the other hand, you know, trying to get back to their old self. If you don't look like it's working, they found Atlanta tonight in the Champions League, as I'm recording this. Going forward to this game, I do think Liverpool will win it, though, and I'll go for a 2-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Manchester City versus Burnley. Manchester City yet again looking to get back to her old selves. Burnley, uh, you know, beat Crystal Palace the previous weekend. I can't see Burnley continuing that. Man City more likely and probably our odds on favourite to win this game. So I'm going to go for a Man City win. I'm going to go for a 1 0 Man City win. My next one is Everton versus Leagues United. Now, Leeds draw into Arsenal. I can't quite remember how Everton got on. Uh, I think they might have won, if I remember. Can't quite remember, but you guys can always quit them down in the comments below anyway. Going forward to this game, obviously Leeds draw 0-0 to Arsenal. So that's sort of a high for a newly promoted team. You know, let's not forget about, about Leeds United. Everton, on the other hand, you know, trying to... I think look for the top four. I think that'd be their, you know, their main goal this season. I'm going to go for an Everton win, considering it's at Goodison Park. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Everton win. My next one is West Brom versus Sheffield United. Now, West Brom, quite, I think they lost to United. Sheffield United did lose. I can't quite remember who to. Sheffield United are sitting right at that foot of the table. You know, look, really struggling. This game's going to be interesting for a lot of reasons. Both teams are in the relegation, uh, relegation zone, and both teams are struggling for points. So I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Southampton versus Manchester United. The highly Southampton doing well at this present in time. Man United did beat, uh, did win their Champions League. Istanbul, I think it was, they beat in the Champions League last night as I'm recording this. And they basically look okay. But, but are Man United going to be able to keep this up? I'm going to go for another draw, I think. Actually, yes, I am I'm going to go for another draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Chelsea versus Tottenham. Tottenham are top of the Premier League and, you know, wanting to stay there. Chelsea, Frank Lampard's another one of these managers that 
is moaning about the football schedule and it does warm me up a little bit how much they're getting paid and yet they're getting paid to kick a ball and you're moaning about that. I'll, you know, it does get to me a bit. Going forward to the game itself. Now, I think, yes, Chelsea did win in the Champions League last night. Tottenham are going to want to remain, you know, top of the Premier League. It's Lampard versus Jose Mourinho. So, I'm going to go for a Tottenham win, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Arsenal versus Wolverhampton. Now, Arsenal got Nicholas Pepe sent off. In their game against Leeds United, playing headbutt, three game suspension, you know, so we ain't going nowhere in sight. Going forward to the Wolves side, though, I do think that you know, Wolves this season really did have like a bit of time to find their feet again, but it's going up at the Emirates Stadium, and you know, it could really sort of change. But I've got to back Wolves to win this one. And I'm going to back them for a 3-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Fulham. Now, Leicester, you know, I think they're top four. I think they're in the top four. Fulham struggling in the relegation zone. Leicester win a 2-0 scoreline for that one. Now, my last one for this weekend is West Ham versus Aston Villa. West Ham are... One of these teams that I always get wrong. In my probably prediction table, I predicted to finish high, they finish low. I predicted to finish low, they finish really high at this present in time. Fiddle coming on the back of, you know, Jack Greenlish, um, you know, and his cases. I'm not going to get bogged down with that, but loses Brighton. I think West Ham will win this one, and I'll go for a 3 1 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.